here and welcome back to Hackwood. In this video, we're going to tackle an interesting problem from linked list. We'll explore two different approaches to solve this problem. So let's try it. So the problem statement is, there is a cycle in a linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, POS is used to denote the index of the node that tails next pointer is connected to. Note that POS is not passed as a parameter. So they given this as just to represent the examples. It's not literally used in the solution or problem. So here we have written true if there is a cycle in the linked list, otherwise written false. So in example one, uh, we see that uh, re there represents a cycle uh, like from this one. So here uh, last node uh, that is tail is connecting to two. So this is a cycle. So how they represent that? POS is equal to one. So they're negating that uh, the last node is pointing to the uh, first node. Like and first, this is starting with the zero index. So it's a first node is the second node here. So here the output is true because there's a cycle in the linked list when the tail connects to the uh, first node. So as we discussed, this is a zero index. So it's a first node. So in example two, we see that the head head is equals to one two and POS is equal to zero. This means that uh, the tail is pointing to zero index. So here uh, the output is true because there's a cycle in the linked list which where the tail connects to the zeroth node. So in example three, the head is one and POS is equal to minus one. So the output is false because we don't see any cycle in the linked list. Right? So so constraints here, the number of nodes in the list is in the range of zero to ten to the power of four, and the node value is in the inclusive range of minus ten power five to ten power five. So here pause is minus one or a valid index in the linked list. So this is the boilerplate code given push one using hash rate. So as we got the means like we initialize an empty set to keep track of visited nodes and then we traverse the linked list starting from the head node. So for each node, check if it has been already visited, uh, that is if it exists in the set. So if the node has been seen before, we return true uh, as there is cycle like this. Otherwise, we add the node to the set and we move on to the next node. So if the end of the list is reached, uh, that is like we, uh, we hit none, we return false as there is no cycle. So let's look at the flowchart here. So we start and then we initialize the empty set and then uh, we set the current node to the head and then uh, we check if the uh, current node is none. If no, uh, we just check keep on like iterating and then uh, we, we check for the current node if it exists in the set, if no. Uh, we add the current node to the set, if yes, we return to because the cycle exists and then after that we move to the next node, again we check if the current node is done, if yes, we return false. Because there is no cycle like this and we reach the end of the list. So dry run here. So let's uh, dry run the algorithm on the given list, this one. Uh, here we see that the cycle is back to the node with the value 2. So this is the set. So for now, uh, we don't have any node in the set. We start uh, processing with the current node, which is head node. So the first we look if the node exists in the set. Since this is not existing in the set, we just add it and move to the next one node. So let's add three to the set. And then, so now the next node is two or the current node is two. So we check if the node exists in the set. Uh, it doesn't exist. So we'd add it and move to the next one. So here uh, again, the current node is zero, which is not there in the set. So we just add it and proceed. Similarly with minus four, it is not there in the set. We just add it. And then uh, the next is here, uh, minus four is pointing, the next is pointing to two. So we check if two is exist in the set. It exists, right? So so it isn't true because uh, there is a cycle. Uh, since two is already existing in the set, uh, it means that there is a cycle found. So we have to return true. So let's look into the code. So on the high level, what we are doing is like we create a set to store the visited nodes and towards the list. And then if we encounter a node that's already in set, we return true, indicating a cycle. Otherwise we add the node to the set and continue until we reach the end of the list. So this is one of the methods I wrote for solving since we use the two approaches. So that's why I named it as hash cycle using the hash set. So at, there would be at, like if you are solving, you can use only one uh, like in the same method given. But I am using the two methods because uh, to represent the two approaches, I uh, had to do this. So uh, the first place, what I'm doing is I'm uh, declaring the variable C nodes and initializing to the empty set, and then uh, I'm initializing the current node to the head. 
so we should not uh, basically alter the given head so that's why uh, we taking it as and the variable like to reference to the head and then uh, we just iterate until the current node is not null or not none in this python we name it none uh, in other language it is null okay uh, and then uh, we check if the current node in uh, is already in seen nodes which is set here if as we return true because that indicates that the cycle uh, otherwise we just add it uh, the current node the set and then we uh, for the next iteration we just update the current node to the current node dot next one so this simple and then if we reach the current node as a none we just break out of the loop and then we return false so the time complexity is o of n where n is the number of nodes in the linked list and the space complexity is o of n for storing the nodes in the set so next is floyd cycle finding algorithm this is also called as sodas and hair algorithm so here the algorithm is like we use two pointers slow and fast and then uh, we initialize both pointers to the head of the list so first is like uh, we move one pointer one uh, that is slow pointer one one step at a time and the fast pointer two steps at a time and then if fast pointer and a slow pointer meets at some point it means that there is a cycle so if the fast pointer reaches the end of the list that is none then it indicates that there is no cycle so let's look into the flowchart so to start with like we initialize slow and fast pointer to the head and then post that the next thing we do is we check if is fast is done or fast dot next is none if as we return false this means that we already reached the fast already reached the like complete the two iterations because like uh, what we are doing is we making it uh, do two steps at a time right so it has visited the list two times in the two times this fast pointer never met the slow pointer so it means that there is no cycle at all we return false and then uh, also like if is fast is none or fast dot next is none uh, if it is no uh, we move slow one step at a time and then the fast pointer two steps at a time and then we check if do fast and slow pointers meet if no we just do the same check and repeat until all the nodes are processed so there so if at all there is a case where the fast pointer and the slow pointer meets we return to because like there is a cycle So let's look into the dry run here. So here I'm representing the slow pointer using the blue arrow and the fast pointer using this brown arrow. So firstly, we initialize the both slow and uh, fast pointers to the head, that is three, node three here. And then we move slow to the two, one step at a time. And then we move the fast to the node zero because this moves two step at a time. And then next is we move slow to the uh, zero, this is one step and uh, fast to the uh, basically, uh, this is this moves two steps, right? So uh, whatever comes next of four is the two. So uh, we made it to move to two, and then it is at two now. So next is uh, we move the z like slow pointer to the minus four node, right? And this pointer has to move two steps, right? So what is next of two like zero, and the next of zero is minus four. So these two meet now. So it means that there is a cycle. So we return true. So let's look into the code for the Floyd cycle finding algorithm. So on a high level, what we are doing is we are using the two pointers slow and fast to traverse the list. And then the slow pointer moves one step at a time, while the fast pointer moves two steps. If they meet, the cycle is directed. And if the fast reaches the end, there is no cycle. So it makes sense, right? So let's go to the code. So firstly, we are checking if not head. That means like if head is none or not we are checking okay uh, or like head dot next is none so if this is the case we return false because there is no cycle and then uh, we initialize the fast and slow pointers to the head so we check if the fast pointer is none or is next is none if if it is none we break so if it is not none uh, we just continue uh, our iterations through the co like each node so in the case where fast is not none and the fast dot next is also not none we iterate like in this fashion uh, so first since slow moves one step at a time we indicate that like we process that in the code by making the slow dot next so taking the slow to the next node and then the first pointer it has to move two steps ahead so we making it next dot next so and then we check if the slow is close to fast 
f as squared and 2 because there's a cycle uh, and then if you process everything every node and then at the end uh, we found cost is none or like cost dot next is none uh, we, uh, we exit out this loop and we return false so one thing why uh, we are doing the fast and fast dot next check is because uh, generally we, we need to check if the current node is null or is not null right so for that case uh, we do only like once but what we are doing here we, we are trying to access the fast dot next dot next that means that we shouldn't have this fast dot next is equal to none if it is none we get the null, null pointer exception right that's why we have to check it like if the first dot next is also none so if it is none we should not process this at all and it also means that there is no cycle uh, that's why we return false here so let's look into the complexities here so the time complex is of n where n is the number of nodes in the linked list and the space complex is of one as it uses only two pointers demo on conclusion So I've got the code ready here. Let's try submitting each of the approaches. So here, uh, as we discussed, I wrote a method for each of the approaches. Now uh, I'm, I'm just calling this uh, each of the methods uh, from the main method here. Like this would be called by internally uh, whatever the code uh, that triggers it. So and then uh, we're making it a call our um, method hash cycle using the hash set. Let's submit this. So yeah, this is the accepted solution and then let's submit our uh, Floyd cycle method as well. So yeah, this also accepts solution and beats 91% the best solution. So conclusion, in this video we explored two efficient methods to detect cycles in a linked list. Using a hash set is simple and straightforward but it requires extra space. The Floyd cycle finding algorithm on the other hand is more space efficient as it uses constant space. Both methods ensure that you confidently determine if your linked list has a cycle. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hackcode. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips. If you have any questions or solutions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.